Welcome back everybody to the channel. Sorry about the cars. Hopefully you guys can hear me still, but yeah, today we're out here at the local creek going for some common carp. And yeah, we're gonna be using corn. I've got my rod all rigged up, ready to go. Um, we've already had, I've seen two or three right, right here in this hole behind me, kind of this whole stretch. So we'll see if we can get into those here soon. And if not, there's another spot a little bit down the road that there should be some, some carp hold up as well. But yeah, I'll show you guys my rig on the GoPro and we'll we'll get right into it. So we've got my my seven foot medium light rod that I use a lot here in the here on the channel. Got the just the thousand size Daiwa Fuego, 15 pound braid down to two pretty big split shots, lead split shots, uh, swivel, and then this is just 10 pound Seaguar uh, fluorocarbon leader. Another little, this one's like the size of a BB little guy, just to keep the corn down on the bottom. And then we've got size 10, show you what I've got. Size 10 bait holder hook in there. It's a gamakatsu, I absolutely love these hooks for bait, fishing for carp and trout and small streams. But yeah, that's what we've got. We've got three pieces on there and then we've got four that slide up on the hook. So we've got a nice little clump down there for the carp to, to see and smell and everything so i haven't seen any in a little bit but they're in here so i'm gonna kind of look around i forgot my sunglasses of course um but there's a few in here they're not very big ones but i'm just trying to get trying to get a carp get a fish or two today um yeah they were over on that far edge kind of on the where it's going down. There was one or two feeding over there. I threw some corn and I can see some of it um, through the rocks and the other little yellow spots, but they're not over there feeding right now. So I'm gonna kinda scan this. I know you guys probably can't see too well, but I'm gonna scan and look for wherever these carp went. Yeah, I'm not really seeing them. Oh, never mind. There's one right here. He's down about 20 feet. He's going back down that way. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to toss it right in there. Oh, there's a bluegill munching it. Dang it. He went down, there's a pool down there. He went down. I think I'm gonna grab that, my can of corn. I'm gonna toss some where that carp was sitting. And we'll kind of leave it alone and then come back and hopefully there's one or two feeding. First, I'm gonna throw more corn on because that bluegill destroyed it. And got a tick. These things are everywhere this year. Just tossed them in the water. What we're gonna do? I think there. I think there's a few down in that hole, down in the shade. It's not. It's real slow moving down there. And there's a. Uh, There, yeah, there's nice shade and everything. But I think if I throw the corn right here above them in this kind of little channel, they'll they'll get the scent of it, and then they'll slowly come up here for to come and get it. There's a little tiny sucker. So we're at the corn, it's all sinking to the bottom everywhere through this stretch. And we're gonna just wait and see if a, a carp will come down from that hole. See if it'll catch up on that corn smell. If we can come and catch him. I was 
I was just using the restroom and the carp are already coming. So I'll get ready to toss in there. Oh yeah, he's already feeding in there. He's just a little guy. But we're gonna, what I like doing when I can sight fish him like this, I like throwing the corn where I can see it. So if I try and get it in a perfect spot where I can see it, and then you kind of just wait. If the carp's feeding, he'll come eventually. And you can get a nice, a nice cast on top of a, yeah, you get a nice, nice carp come and get it eventually. And he's kind of moving quick. So we should, shouldn't be too hard to get him. So I've got straight ahead of me. He's already, he's moving, just sucking up this corn. He should be there in the next couple, probably in the next minute. All the wind's blowing, but we've got a carp going right towards it. I don't even know, if, I don't think I can see my corn. He's right on it though. I can't really see, got him. I didn't even see him either, I felt it. There we go. There we go, guys. I love sight fishing for these carp. We've got two more downstream. We're hooked up. We've got two more about his same size downstream. What we're gonna do, is while we're fighting him, loosen my drag just a tad. While we're, while we're fighting, oh, he's going. I thought he popped off for a second. I'm gonna toss some corn down there for the, uh, for the other ones to catch on to. So we just threw some more corn mid-fight. I'm gonna try and drag him up here to get my to get my net. We're hooked up. Just going to get my net. Ah. Uh, Or we're doing something really risky. I'm leaving my rod right here. With the bell open, I'm gonna go grab my net. Because there's a bunch of, I was getting stuck up on the wood, the tree right there. All right, we got the net. He's right here. All right, hopefully we're not too tangled and we can rip him out of here. I think we're doing good. Yeah. Come on. Dang it. Oh gosh, this is, this is not the best. He's on there still. As long as I can walk out here. Oh, it's solid. He's pinned. Oh, there he is. Come on, go around the tree. Go around, there we go, there we go. All right, we can get out of the water. We're gonna get him.
All right, there he is. Boom, we'll let him go right here. Because we're down at the water, we can keep him, get him unhooked and get him easy. It's probably a five, no, three to four pound carp right there. Not a giant, we got a bunch of seaweed with him. There he is. Wasn't the most ideal catch, it's pretty crazy, but we got him. I'll show you guys where the hook is. Right there. I think you can see it right there in the corner of his mouth. Get him unhooked. There we go. Got him unhooked. We'll kind of let him sit here for a, a minute. He should be ready to go. Here quick. All right. There he is. Oh, swam back into the net. All right, go the other way, buddy. Don't swim into the net. There it goes. Peace. Perfect, guys. The other carp, he's in here feeding right now. I, lo I cut my hook out and popped it out of him. I sat on the ground and I lost it somewhere in the dirt. But here's the hooks I'm using. Absolute favorite hooks for corn, for carp, and trout with worms in small streams. But we're gonna get this tied up. And get some more corn and we should be able to get this guy too. We've got the net right next to a sandy, so. It'll be a ride, but not, not quite as long as that last one. Oh, and here comes, I see two right now. There might be three. All right. We just dropped it in front of one that looks a little bigger. And he's going right towards it. Oh, he's going right towards it. Oh, why'd he leave? No. All right, I think they ate majority of the corn while I was gone. There's another little guy. I don't throw out too much when it's when it's in the creek because they seem to come pretty easy once you get it started. One thing that's super important, you can get lucky, but it's pretty important is um, trying to have your corn downstream of you because if not, your line will have a bow in it and what just happened right there, I haven't described it yet, that the carp was just next to mine, but he hit my line and he, he just dipped. So, a big thing can be keeping your line a little more taut so it's not just kinda free uh, swinging in the current. Because they'll feel that and they'll get scared. We just keep waiting. Oh. There's a deer over there. I don't know if you, way straight ahead on the shore. Nice. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys got that, saw that, but I just hooked up. My GoPro had some issues. Stopped recording. But we've got this one. He's about the same size as the last one. We're actually gonna go, we're gonna walk him up to that area a little lower down to the ground. Let's see if we can land him. Yeah. Right here is good to land him. I hope you guys saw that. It was pretty cool. Woo! All right, should be able to get him here in a second. Come on. Oh, splash me. Barely missed him. Ah, 
We got him. Whew. This one's really pretty. A little bit more. The other one was a little bit beat up. This one's looks a little cleaner than the last one. You guys might not be able to tell, but seems a lot cleaner. Another three, four pounder. Healthy fish. There's the hook. Hope you all can see the hook down there. There he is. Beautiful little carp. Oh, they like turning back into the net. All right, there he goes. Down into the deep. The other one or two fish, they're a little smarter. They got spooked, but we're gonna put our hook here, head to the next spot. Still got a good bit of corn. We'll give it like 30 minutes there and see if we can get another. See you at the next spot. Just got to the second spot. It's looking really good. I'm about to flip the camera and show you a bunch of carp feeding right in front of me. Tons of cottonwood on the water, but there are, I've seen at least four carp already. You can see one right there. I tossed out corn right here. We've got that one feeding, that one feeding. There's another one or two. So yeah, we've got like four or five carp. Let's see if we can get into them. All right, we've kind of spooked him a little bit a few times and that one just got slightly hooked. There was another nice smallmouth. Dank. Um, yeah, they'll come back through though. We've got a ton of corn, corn out there. Coming back. We'll see, maybe he'll eat it. Oh wait. We've got another carp coming in. Should be able to get one of these. Here comes one. Got one. There we go. No idea which one that was, but we got him. Woo! Oh, there's a big old boulder out there. Oh my gosh. A lot bigger than the ones we got earlier. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Oh, he's by that rock. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, this is a bigger one than earlier. Not a giant giant, but it's bigger. Yeah, that's a good carp. Slam, um, play out. He looks real clean and healthy too, which is awesome. I think we'll get it. We'll get it in the water down here for him.
Uh, yeah, we'll walk him. We'll walk him down this way. Here we go. There we go. We got him. Water's still pretty cold. Open up the bell. There we go. That one's a chunk. Probably more it's more than five pounds. Not super super long, but he's a real healthy one. Real a lot of meat on him. There's the hook right there in the corner. These are my, I'm telling you guys, these are my, my favorite hooks for kind of bait fishing in creeks. They're my go-to. They can be a little small for bass, but for, for a uh, carp and trout, they work great. All right, I know how good you guys can hear, but we got the carp here. Get a close up. Nice, probably something a little over five pounds. Beautiful carp. There he is. Get the release on the GoPro for y'all. There he goes. Whoo! Good fish. Thank you guys for watching. We just nailed three carp and not, not too long of a time frame. Once we got the corn in the water, it was wasn't too hard. We had to wait about 10 minutes or so um, at the first spot in between those bites. But right here at the second spot, we got into them right away. Had a bunch of fun that. This last one I just caught, biggest of the day, it was probably a little over five pounds. Saw a little creek carp. Um, but yeah, we're gonna come back to this creek over the summer and hopefully we can find a little bit bigger carp as well. My my best one was out of this creek and that was, I don't remember exactly, but it was, it was either 12 or like 14 pounds. I have it written down somewhere, but. I know there's some bigger ones in here, so we'll come back and search for some of the, the bigger carp another day. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more carp fishing videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And comment down below if you enjoy carp fishing. Thanks again and tight lines.